takes a couple of times to nail it because I'm that guy, do you know what I mean? Right, come on son, let's take, take four. Ah, oh, Mr. Bond, I have been expecting you. Hello and welcome to a bit more of an informal video. Formal video, Christ, you can tell it's more formal. Informative, because Bukowski's in the background. Today's video is on magnesium. Magnesium. I work in a health food shop, so I've been seeing a lot of this plastered about on magazines, billboards, adverts, etc, etc. And it is magnesium oil. It comes in a spray form and it also comes in a flake form. You can put it in your bath. I went out on Saturday and bought some and used it. It's working. So in this video we're just going to look at the claims that it says on the packet and see if it works really. First off, what is magnesium chloride? It's a very highly water soluble salt and it's found in the sea and it's also found in many a seabed. Our adult body produces about 25 grams of magnesium, 50 to 60 percent of that is actually in the bone and less than one percent of that is in the blood. There has been reports come out in, in the last years that suggest about up to 90 percent of us are in fact deficient in magnesium so it's very vital and it's especially vital for athletes because we deplete a lot of our magnesium when we sweat. So let's take a look at the claims of the product. Number one, it says bone, skin and health. There aren't many studies that I've found regarding bone, skin and health or magnesium. A couple are and a couple are positive. For example, there was a study done with women on, with osteoporosis and they supplemented with magnesium and they had an increased BMD at the wrist over the period of time they were taking it. Now that was done through supplementation form of the oral, not anything to do with flakes. The other claim they've got in there is superior magnesium absorption. Now magnesium chloride and magnesium citrate are the two best forms of magnesium. The benefit of this stuff is that it's a chloride, so it's transdermal, which means it is, it is it's taken in through the skin. Now this is better because it leads to a lower loss of absorption because if you take it orally through a pill, then a lot of it might get, may get lost in you know, the intestines and the stomach, etc. So yes, this is the superior of absorption for magnesium. The last one, and the ones that me and you probably care about as bodybuilders, is that it relieves muscle tension. Can't find anything. Can't find any studies or trials or clinically done trials that suggest that magnesium supplementation is beneficial for the relief of muscle tension and muscle soreness. There are some information or little dots of information regarding magnesium supplementation and cramps. This is a meta-analysis done by PubMed back in 2008. 15. Author's conclusion, it is unlikely that magnesium supplementation provides clinically meaningful cramp prolaxis to older adults. In contrast, for those experiencing pregnancy associated risk cramps, the literature is conflicting and further research needs to be done. They've also put on this one, which is crucial to us a lot, we found no randomised controlled trials evaluating magnesium for exercise associated muscle, tr muscle cramps or soreness. Am I either stupid? or I haven't spent enough time looking for any trials, so if you are watching this and have got any to hand, please do send them over. The only things I can find are anecdotal information. For example, this page says that yesterday one of her patients came in and she had sore hands from arthritis, she used some magnesium oil and she was better. But then what you've got to understand is you've got to scroll to the top or you've got to look at the information on the webpage and it's drcircus.com and if you scroll down, oh look, they're backed by a company by magnesium, so obviously they're going to have some form of good thing to say about it. It might be clever marketing. A company like that might have gone, right, there's nothing, there's nothing there. We haven't found anything, there's no information to suggest that this stuff works. Why don't we create a product that says it does all those things? Bosh, there you go, people buy it. I did leg day yesterday, quads and biceps. Did that last Sunday, same thing, 15 sets, this Sunday, 15 sets only difference was jumped in the bath and I used a bit of that. Am I less sore this morning? Yes I am less sore but no less sore than me doing a leg day and jumping into a hot bath regardless if I've got any magnesium on board or not. To conclude this video, it's probably not been very helpful to be fair, but I would suggest if you are deficient in magnesium definitely supplement with it. Many people are and it's very important within you know the vital organs in the body. With regards to this stuff this is 9.99, a tenner, and a tenner. Is it worth it? You only get four usages out of that. 
For 10 quid it's not. What I do recommend is getting some of this stuff. Magnesium citrate, I've been through it in a previous video regarding heart health and all sorts of health. It's very beneficial. This has got about 60 servings in there and that was about 6 99 nothing at all. So if you are deficient, take magnesium. If you've got sore legs and sore muscles after leg day or whatever day, just go and run a hot bath, get your other half to give you a massage. Maybe leave that to one side. Apart from that, that's the video I've done. I'll do some more videos later on in the week, more Casey Nace, that style. I'm sorry if it offends you, if it annoys you, but I just really like it. As of today, it's three o'clock. I'm gonna go and run myself a hot bath, use some of this, put some scented candles on, and get a bit feminine. Thank you, good night.